All right, here we go. Hello, everybody. Hi, welcome back to Times Higher Education Students Webinars. Today, we are joined by Central New Mexico Community College, all the way from Albuquerque. So we will be heading all the way over to the US today, and we will be discussing affordable community college and education. We have the wonderful Diana here with us today, who will be your main host. And of course, like all of our webinars, we ask you to ask us questions. We aren't shy. We promise that we will not bite and we will be answering all of those at the very end of our webinar. Uh, we have the Q&A box ready and open for you there, just at the bottom of your screen. And once you are ready to ask those, we'll get to those at the very end. So for now, I'm going to hand you over to your host, Diana. Hi, how's everybody doing? I hope you are enjoying uh, a beautiful day in your home country here in Albuquerque. We have a beautiful sunny day, actually Albuquerque has 280 days of sunny days here a year so but I'm going to talk to you about something that interests you that is affordability uh, studying affordable in the United States. Um, my name is Diana Matier and I am the International Student and Scholar Officer for Central New Mexico Community College. I'm going to give you information uh, about what a community college is, how the path goes, uh, then about CNM, where we're located, and uh, programs of studies, and other great information. But please do ask questions. I'm here to help you out and definitely answer your questions. And we can, you can also reach out to me after this webinar. So um, first, I want to tell you about community colleges. So uh, we have over 1,100 community colleges in the United States. And in reality, over 45% of Americans uh, started at a community college, and I am one of them. Um, I have now my master's degree, but I started at a at CNM, actually. I love CNM. So, uh, um, community colleges mostly, is to, there are two-year public institutions. Uh, the admissions compared to the universities is easier. There are less requirements than a four-year university, for example. Um, normally, we don't require essays, we don't require GPAs, and I'll talk about that in a little bit more. Also, one of the great benefits about uh, attending a community college is that you get an extra OPT. What is OPT? OPT is an optional practical training. That means you're allowed to work one year after you graduate in your, in your field. So that's a benefit that you get with a community college that you don't get with a bachelor's. So you graduate with us one year, you graduate with a bachelor's degree, you get another year. Um, if you go directly to a university, then you only get one opportunity to work. So how does it work a little bit? So I'm gonna talk about the left-hand side first. Um, the average is four years of uh, to get a bachelor's degree in the United States. So if you go on the left-hand side, you're gonna see the university. So one, two, three, four years in, um, at the university directly and you get a bachelor's degree. Now, if you choose a community college, it's two years with us and two years with a university. So your classes that you take with us will transfer to a four-year college. Um, I do wanna talk about that there are different degrees in a community college. We have technical degrees and we have the degrees that will transfer to a university. So please, when, if you're interested, contact me and I'll talk to you a little bit more about that. Um, but uh, like, for example, plumbing. Plumbing will not transfer to a bachelor's degree and that's technical degree. So where are we located? Where is New Mexico? We are in the United States. Uh, some people think that we're in Mexico, but we're not. We're so we are between Arizona, Colorado, and Texas in the United States. And like I said, we have great sunny days. Um, we are very famous for our balloon fiesta. We have anywhere between 500 and 800 balloons in the air, special shapes, there's cows. On the left-hand side, you're gonna see uh, our city. There's Albuquerque, you see at the bottom. Uh, we have those Sandia Mountains because they're red most of the time because of our beautiful sunset. Um, we do not have tall building, so you're able to see uh, the view of the mountains all the time. So now let me talk to you about Central New Mexico Community College, or a way that I will refer it, CNM. Um, again, our, our 
associate's degree are two years. Uh, community colleges, we have an affordable education, and I'll talk about the cost in just a little bit. Um, and the benefit of attending a community college is for two years, you're going to save money, and then you will transfer to university where you will have to pay a little bit more. Obviously, uh, most universities do have transfer scholarships if you're a good student. Uh, and another benefit of uh, community college is that our classes are small, anywhere between 25 and 30 students, compared to a university where it would be an average of, it could be almost 800 people in an auditorium. Uh, uh, when I registered for the psychology, that's how many people were in an auditorium. So that's another benefit. You're able to talk to your instructor. Your instructor knows you compared to uh, a four-year university. And obviously, we are accredited institution by the Higher Learning Commission. As a matter of fact, we just did that, and um, they were very surprised by what a great institution we are. Um, we do have an online application. On our website, it is. We don't have the common app. Uh, you are required to have a minimum of a high school diploma, upload your passport, uh, your high school diploma, and we will need an English proficiency. Uh, we require TOEFL 61 and Duolingo 90 as a minimum to go directly to college and a $50 application fee. Once that happens, you are a, you will be automatically accepted. We don't need like I mentioned, letters, GPAs, I don't care how old you are, you will be uh, accepted. Then I will send you an email where I will require other uh, documents and stuff like that, and we'll talk mainly is going to be the bank statements. We are uh, the largest uh, undergraduate educational institution in New Mexico, the University of New Mexico and I, we are very close because so the, we are so affordable that people can take the same classes uh, way more affordable than the university. It is taught by professors, not by uh, assistants, not by, no. And they need to have a minimum of a, a master's degree to be able to teach our college. We do have seven campuses um, around Albuquerque. Even though we are not a huge city, the CNM has always wanted to be close to all the areas of Albuquerque to be able to reach out to all, all our students. We have an average of 18 to 19,000 students right now um, at CNM. We do partner with the University of New Mexico for dorms. We do not have dorms. That's another thing that community colleges normally don't have. Um, unfortunately, they don't always have a space, but um, if there are availability, uh, you could stay at the University of New Mexico that is on the walking distance of main campus. I can tell you that some of the uh, larger companies that we have here, uh, Netflix, Facebook, Sandia National Labs, uh, Los Alamos, those are uh, huge for engineering, computer science, the national labs. They only have one, um, one uh, employer and it's the government. So uh, great if you're able to work there or get an internship. Here are the pictures of our beautiful college. Uh, the first top left is the main campus. Uh, we have Montoya, West South, uh, South, uh, South Valley, and uh, main Montoya, South Valley, and West Side. Yeah. So we have, uh, are you see our buildings? And we're, we keep doing new buildings with more um, technology and also uh, better for the environment. So you're interested in knowing what programs we have. We do have over 100 programs of study. And what I want to let you know is the difference of programs that we have. So on the top left hand side, you're going to see the different kinds of programs that we have. We have Associate of Applied Science, Associate of Arts, Associate of Science, and Certificate. The Associate of Applied Science normally is a technical degree. That degree will and the certificate will not transfer to a four-year college. We have a couple of exceptions. That is the nursing program, because it's such a great program uh, that will transfer to the University of New Mexico. So it, it, if you have questions, again, talk to me. I'll be able to help you. The Associate of Arts are normally like business, um, culinary arts, hospitality. 
um, the associate, associate of science normally is like biology, biotechnology, and those will transfer to a four-year college. The way that the education system works in the United States are that the first two years of college, you're going to have English, math, science, um, humanities. So they're core classes that you can take anywhere. You will take just a few classes on your major. Once you transfer to a four-year degree, that's where you'll get fully um, classes towards your degree. So again, Associate of Arts and Associate of Science, if, if you want to transfer to a four-year college, are the ones you need to choose. We have five different schools, Applied Technologies, Business Information Technology, uh, Communication, Humanity, Social Science, Health, Wellness, Public Safety, and Math and Science. And everyone, uh, I just entered the top five, but we have a huge range of programs that you can look into it. And again, Applied Technologies, uh, Architectural Drafting, Aviation Maintenance is a program that I'm trying to push because it's a great program. It's a two and a half year program. And after you graduate, you will be able to uh, take the FAA test and you can work on airplanes. It's like a mechanical, me mechanic for aviation, for airplanes. And you're able to uh, work anywhere in the world. Um, film is huge right now in New Mexico. Uh, NBC, Netflix, they're all here. We have several. Um, and I have several people in this program that have been able to graduate and work right away. Uh, geography and welding, I also have an international student welding and he's making really good money. Business information technician, we have computer information systems, computer science. Computer information systems, we have a huge amount and very excellent programs. So those are two year programs, but we have cybersecurity, we have web programming, uh, different uh, areas. Uh, communication, criminology, liberal arts under uh, social science. Um, under health wellness, I get a lot of nursing. That's it. I would say the number one request for our college. It is not easy to get in. You have to, it's like a lottery system. You have to do some classes before you can apply to the program. Uh, dental assistance, we also have the vet tech program, cosmetology. And uh, the one that also is required a lot, we have biology, biotechnology, Engineer, geographic, and ge geography, and math and science. The other option that you have, if you're not able to come to uh, the United States and pay, because we'll cover that in a second, and you will need a lot of money. But if you want a fully online program, a two-year program, we do have uh, those five degrees: business, communication, criminology, cybersecurity, and liberal arts. Again, cybersecurity is not a, a degree that will transfer to a four-year college. The other ones will. The tuition is only $179 and includes textbooks and materials and also tutoring and other uh, things that you can uh, reach online. This program normally is seven weeks, and then we only encourage you to take two classes for, uh, at the same time. But every seven weeks, you will get a new class. Another uh, system that we have is a short-term program, and this is an M1 visa. It's not an F1 visa. The, um, these are short-term. You will not be able to work with this degree due to the fact that the federal requirements uh, only allow you to uh, work after four months, and this doesn't cover uh, a minimum, no, a year, a minimum of a year before you can work. But we do have digital media, data science, full stack web uh, development, internet, and uh, Java and Android. So within 10 weeks, you will receive a certificate to be able to work right away and make really good money in the information systems area. And if you want more information about this program, you can log in into deepdivecoding.com. I put the website down there. So how much it costs? Um, unfortunately, coming to the United States and study here is not cheap. Um, but attending the community college first will help you first save a little bit of money, then you transfer to university where you'll pay more. So our tuition is an average of $8,016, and that doesn't cover uh, uh, several fees, but there's not that many. Uh, we estimate that your room and board could cost you $7,750, 
and there's a miscellaneous of 5,382. So if you wanted to attend CNM, it'll cost you, uh, you will need to show proof that you have $21,148 in the bank. Um, and then payments need to be stamped and signed. But that's an average of what will cost you, estimate of what will cost you. It could cost you more. And uh, just so you know, this is only for two terms. So if you choose to take classes in the summer, then you have to pay for that tuition. The federal guidelines only state that you are, as an F1 student, you're only required to attend fall and spring. We do have a small scholarship because we are an affordable college. I know it sounds $21,000 like a lot of money, but unfortunately it is. And if you go to other colleges, it could cost you anywhere from fifty dollars to $80,000. Uh, we do offer a $500 scholarship, no application needed. You only need to um, apply and be one of the first 10 to send all the documentation and to attend CNM. And I will, um, actually, we just increased that to $1,000. Sorry, I should have updated that, but it's actually $1,000, $500 for the first two semesters. I apologize for that. And that's about it for me. Uh, this is my email, dematir at cnm.edu. I also have a WhatsApp that you can message me through it. And um, that's the phone number. I can also meet via Zoom with you. Um, uh, if you, you can make an appointment with me at calendly.com for slash dematir. And I can dedicate half an hour completely to you, your family members, because we understand this is a huge investment. So I'll be happy to answer all your questions. That's what I'm here for. Our website is www.cnm.edu forward slash global. And um, I really do appreciate you being here. Um, I was a little bit of a fast, but if you have any questions, I'm here to answer you. And um, I might be able to, if you have enough time, um, I would like to talk to you about the process that it takes to receive the I-20, that that's the document you will need uh, to be able to apply to the U.S. Embassy. But we'll talk that in a second. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Diana. That was really detailed. Uh, that was brilliant. Can I uh, start the questions with you here, and then we can go back to the uh, way to apply? Was that correct, that we wanted to go yep. to? All right, great. So to kick off, do I need any work experience to join this college? Not at all. Not at all. The only thing we need is that you have a high school diploma, and that's it. OK, perfect. Or the equivalent. Or the sorry, or the equivalent for you to be able to go to college in your country. Perfect, that's amazing. And are there any scholarships to to join? That's the five hundred dollars scholarship that we have for the first ten people that apply and attend. And for okay. it's only for six semesters. Uh, I see. Okay. And how about Duolingo? Is that accepted as a English proficiency test? We do. You need to have only ninety. And that's another benefit of attending a community college is that our scores are lower, but we have proven that our students are able to succeed with that uh, uh, level of English with 90. And TOEFL is 61 and IELTS, I believe is 6.0. Perfect. And how about the prices to attend this college? Are all the courses in person or online? Well, we do have the ability to do both. Like I said, we have five degrees that you're able to complete fully online. But if you want to come to the United States, the federal requirements are state that you have to be minimum 75% in person because that's why you're coming to the United States to study. And the F-1 visa is supposed to be for you to just come to study and go back to your home country and take a, uh, put into place what you have learned with at, here in the United States. Now, let me tell you that we will give you the document and the visa will be for two years when the embassy, if they approve the visa. But that doesn't mean that you cannot stay in the United States to study for a bachelor's degree. Once you apply with the new, uh, at the university and they accept you, they're gonna give you a new I-20 with two more years. So as long as you have the financial means to keep studying, you are able to. Brilliant. That's great. And actually, that is something that comes up. The question that's just come up here. Uh, can I stay and work there after my studies or do I have to go back home? You have to go back home. Uh, okay. So 
Well, you graduate from CNN or from an associate's degree or from any college. You graduate, you're able to work one year. And as I mentioned before, when you attend a community college, you have an extra year. Then you move to a, a bachelor's degree. If you, so you have several choices. Once you graduated, you can go back home, you can keep studying at a four-year college, or you can work for a year. And then once you complete your work employment, you have the same options. You want to go back home, you want to study, and you can continue like that. While you are at CNM, you have the possibility to work at our college, only at our college. You cannot work outside of CNM. And unfortunately, I've caught people and I've had, they had 15 days to leave the country. So they, at CNM, we have a student employment. And if there's an opening, I'm, I will be able to offer it to you guys. But there's a different funding for student employment for international students than for the regular U.S. citizens yeah. or residents of the United States. Yeah, that makes sense for sure. And is there any help with gaining any courses, advice? I mean, and how do they know which one to choose? I'm so sorry, what was the question? Is there any help with gaining course advice? Or, I mean- course, Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. Um, I, so once you get to CNM, once you get your visa approved, I will put you into contact with an advisor who's also what we call a DSO, designated school official, who knows all the federal guidelines for you and you should only talk to them, but they're advisors too. So they will be able to give you a path of what classes to take. Now, would I give you advice of what to study? I would say, pick what you love and what you wanna do. Because remember, you're gonna spend a lot of money and you're gonna be studying and doing exams and all that stuff and you really want to do something you love because if you don't if, if you do something okay i'm going to say it i should i actually pick the wrong one i picked the computer because i thought it would pay a lot of money uh, i struggled and at the end i wasn't good at it so i didn't even try to do it and then i for my master's degree i picked something different that i loved and i excelled on my master's degree so I always encourage you to pick something you love, not something that pays a lot of money. I agree. That's definitely the best way from the <laughs> yeah. life experience here. I can I can agree. Um, is there any accommodation advice? Will they stay on campus? How how does that work? So we don't have dorms, but you can. I like I mentioned we have a partnership with the University of New Mexico. That there's a possibility that you could stay there. Now. I'm not too crazy about the dorms because it's like one bed here and one bed here, there's no walls. And then you have to share the bathroom either with the whole floor or you have to with other people. Um, and it is not very affordable. It's a little bit more expensive. You're also required, uh, well, you're not required, but you will have to buy a meal plan. I do have another suggestion of where you could potentially stay and it's like $750 a month. And you share the room with three other people, but you have your own room bathroom in your own room and you have a door uh, in a lock that you can nobody can come in i agree that's that's a better idea i think definitely <laughs> some privacy. you might pay a little bit more but then they don't get into your stuff so yeah yeah exactly and here's a question that's come in uh what are the first steps someone can take to get started with the application just go to cnm.edu and um the, it, everywhere you go, it's a supply. And you click there, you're going to have to enter some information, your email, and uh, uh, they're going to send you a link. Because we are very, we're very conscious about safety in our college. And we don't like people getting into our email. So for secure reasons, you're going to have to go to your email and start the application. Make sure that when you apply, you apply for international new. Once you do that, it takes you to the correct application. And just know that at the, you're gonna have to upload um, your uh, some documents. And if you're not able to upload them, they're gonna send you an, a, a letter saying, hey, you're missing this document. But the most important part is you pay the $50. Once you pay the $50, you will be in our path of, oh, hey, you apply, you pay, but you are still missing this document. Um, and I, again, if you have the high school diploma, the Duolingo, and upload the passport, you will automatically be accepted. You don't need your, I don't need grades. I don't need, I don't care how old you are. I just met somebody from um, 
where was it, Nepal? And he's an older gentleman who wants to change his major. So uh, he is coming. We don't care about how old you are. We have all ages in our school. Um, and you will be accepted. Then I will come in and ask for the other documents that require health insurance. And the most important one is the bank statement that needs to show within the last three months there was $21,148 in the bank. The bank statement needs to be stamped, signed, and in English. So I can understand what it is. And um, and that's it. Once you send me all the documents, I will send you the document that is the I-20. That then you can go to the U.S. Embassy website, pay the fees that they're asking, that is $350 for the interview and $185 for the visa. So $535. And they're the ones who are going to decide if you get the visa or not. The interview will be 90 seconds to five minutes top. And I will be, once you give me that date that you got the visa, I will be happy to meet with you and talk to you about the potential questions that they will ask you. Perfect. That's great. And now I think you want to take the floor and, and let everybody know how to apply. Like you, you were talking about something just after the webinar that you wanted to explain. Just the, the process of the I-20, I understand sure. depending that on the country that you are, the visa time wait could be longer. Um, it could, in Nigeria, for example, it's two years wait for an F1. And you're eligible for the emergency, but depending, they might deny it, they might give it to you. But just, I encourage you to apply early. That way we have plenty of time to go back and forth about the documents and you have enough time to apply for the visa. And, and not only that, you want to have time to plan coming to United States and leave your home country and find places to stay. So make sure that um, you apply early enough. For example, right now, our application for the fall term is open, and it will close May 31st. Uh, and we do that exactly for that reason, because you need time to prepare. And if somebody submits the application May 31st, by the time I get the documents, by the time all that, you might get a visa appointment a few days before you're supposed to be, you're required to uh, attend CNM or report to CNM. So that those people, for most of the time, they're not able to attend because of that. Uh, so make sure you plan. Every college has different application times. So look into that. But I encourage you to do community colleges. Even if you don't do my community college, I encourage you to look into it. Every state has community colleges. Not one, but several. My state has like five community colleges. I'm the only one in Albuquerque, but yes, every state has a community college and it will benefit you so much in so many different ways. Um, I just want to go back real fast to my presentation if I'm sure. able to do so. Um, let me share my screen. So you guys can take a screenshot of my um, information. Uh, Right there, I want to put it one more time. Take the picture of it. Again, I can talk to you. I'm here to help you. My job is to bring international students to our college. So I will answer as many questions as I can. Um, through WhatsApp, it's easy if you have just one or two questions. The Zoom is if we want to elaborate a little bit more uh, and talk to your parents, grandparents, that's the other day I talked to a grandparent who's the one who's going to be funding uh, uh, her granddaughter's education and I had several questions. So I'm here to, to help you. So please um, reach out to me and I'll, I'll, oh, I think I put it on the wrong, uh, but yeah, you get the point. It's right there, the information. I, I put it on the wrong screen. <laughs> That's okay. That. No, no problem. No, no, we but can yeah, see that. We, yeah, that was perfect. Oh, yeah. Brilliant. So reach, reach out to me. I'm here to help. I'm here to move forward with this and um, Share Thank this information you. with your friends who are interested, but just know that full ride a scholarship very rarely exists. Yeah. And if it exists, it's because you are a genius, and CNM doesn't have that. But in the United States, very rarely you get, I even have to pay for my education. But uh, yeah, so just make sure that, know that that full ride a scholarship is very rarely given. Perfect. And um, when are the uh, application deadlines? Are there any application deadlines coming up? May 31st. You have to apply by May 31st if you want to attend CNM this fall. Um, okay. We will open the application for the spring term on 
July or August, but email me if you have questions about that and I can give you the exact date. Um, the other thing that I want to mention is that we will need for you to send your high school or bachelor's, master's, whatever you have, officially translated by one of our NASIS members. And we'll send you the information, but you will be required to send your official transcript through them so they can tell us that it's real. Unfortunately, there's a lot of fraud, so we will need that information. Okay, brilliant. Well, thank you so much for such an informative half hour. That was brilliant. And everybody that did attend, thank you so much. For those who couldn't make it today, we will be sending this to you tomorrow in a small email. And then you'll be able to reach out to Diana directly. Um, any last words, Diana, before we finish today? Um, if you try to make an appointment, unfortunately, I'll be traveling recruiting students to South America for the next week and a half. But you can reach to me via email or you can uh, set an appointment um, after April 24th. Amazing. All right. Well, thank you, everybody. Thank you for your time today. And we will see you very soon, hopefully, in uh, central New Mexico. Bye-bye. <laughs> Beautiful Albuquerque. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.